could have at least put the front ones on the back. Those are old ones. Moving right day and night. <laughs> <laughs> and we're supposed to be powered by science. That's very here. true. We better be able to get two people on one chance somehow. Here it comes. Yep, that's it. Every time I'm in his office, he's sitting there and all of a sudden he just reaches like this and there's a piece of chicken in his hand. <laughs> I'm like, how much chicken is under your desk? I overshot the R&D budget this week, so I'm going to need that $250. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving it right day and night. <laughs> Oh, it's the oh, person on the right that says, Why? Yeah. Oh, the person on the, says, <laughs> on the left says, Welcome, welcome, welcome to Hot Shot Secret Live. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Episode number 123. Already. Yeah. Aaron and myself will be talking about gasoline extreme and yeah. products to go for gas vehicles. Did you know that? I did not. I also. I know you. Something went wrong. So, oh, boy. Yeah. So. We'll see if we can. Oh, oh that's fine. I don't need it. <laughs> All right, so apparently we're talking about gasoline stuff today. Shh. Ta-da. Um, we're going to give away gasoline extreme and stiction eliminator? Yeah. Because. Because well, the birdie said so? Yeah. Hmm. The marketing guy did. I don't know who he is. I don't either. No. <laughs> well, that was last night. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> no. We'll be yeah giving away Stiction Eliminator <laughs> and Gasoline Extreme. And you can enter each week at hotshotsecret.com slash giveaway, where we give away weekly prizes. But you do have to sign up weekly in order to be entered into the drawing. Whew. We'd like to know where you are watching from today and what kind of device? Are you on a phone, tablet, Ooh, computer? Switching it Smart up. Smart TV? Let us know. YouTube? YouTube yep. YouTube. We'll check the, the comments over on YouTube later. We'll be answering your questions below on Facebook as we go throughout the program. We're going to start out with our dealer shout outs, which I didn't load into the computer. <sighs> so, Wicked Rigs in Pueblo, Colorado? Yes. They don't have their logo up there? No, they do not have their logo up there. I, huh. I, I forgot to do it. I just realized that as I was saying the line. <laughs> in Har a case, case, sir, I can't even say. Case or equipment repair in Harwich, Massachusetts? Yes, that's our other Is, do you featured have their logo deal. Ready? Yeah, it's not. We'll, we'll get, get it ready, though. We'll get tough to the little birdie, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. It's been a long week here. <laughs> if, you have a, if you have a problem, <laughs> please send an email to birdie at hotshotsecret.com. <laughs> is that IE or a Y? We'll go Y. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Dude, See, we got good on. good production crew. They're on top of it. So shout out to those dealers. Dealers also, partners, influencers. Send your us our, our decals to yeah, us. We can put it on the lobby wall today. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna <laughs> Yeah. We got kicked out of the studio the day. They're doing some construction work. I don't think you guys wanted to hear the uh, rumble and the dinosaurs going, everything else uh, going on there. It's, it's kind of loud. That's what I hear. People on that half of the building are complaining to me about it. You're getting a new office. Well, office space. Correct. Yeah. I just want my stapler. That's all I care about. <laughs> Give me my stapler. I'm good. For sure. So let's start off our um, segment today with our get to know us segment. We've got a brand new guy here, so why don't we hop, have him hop in here and Aaron, you hop off and we'll uh, get to know a new employee here at Hot Shot Secret. Why don't you introduce yourself to who you are and what you do here. Okay, I'm Mike Meddings and I'm an account executive. What's an account executive? Um, I work with our, our dealers and customers uh, in various parts of the states. Perfect, okay. Uh, our first question is kind of rapid fire. Where were you born? Uh, Marion, Ohio. Close by, okay. Where'd you grow up? Marion. Okay. What was your first job? I worked for a, a small supermarket in the Marion area. Did you like stock groceries? I did. Okay. I, was, I stocked groceries and I was a bag boy kind of thing. Gotcha. When they, they used still, to do that, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. No, I know what you're saying there. Okay. 
Did you ever wreck the company vehicle? <laughs> I did not. There's actually a story behind that with an employee here. <laughs> you just need to speak a little okay. closer into it. What was your first car? I had a 1980 Toyota Corolla, two door. It was cool. Not really. Uh, playing any sports growing up? I did. I, I played football and ran track. Okay. Favorite hobby? Uh, probably camping. So you know we got all those RV products for yeah. you to try out as well. Yeah. Mine's a towable, so only really the, the slide um, product is where I would, you know, fall into that. But um, I'm looking forward to getting underneath that camper and, and uh, using some of that and testing it out. Mm -hmm. Favorite holiday? Uh, probably Thanksgiving. Favorite beverage? And this can be adult. Um, I'm a I'm a beer fan, yeah, and I like dark beers and light beers. I don't have a, a favorite beer, but mm -hmm. uh, favorite TV show or movie? Um, probably movies, Step Brothers. Um, TV show, old school Star, Star Trek. Very good, very good. Um, so how did you kind of find out about us? Did you know about us before you applied for the job or? Um, I, I didn't, I, I got a, a pretty quick education though. So, um, I've been by a few times, you know, just going from here to there and, um, always thought, well, you know, what, what does that place do? Uh, I think probably a lot of the folks that drive by that don't know about LSI or Hotshot Secret probably have the same question. But, um, you know, I, when I saw it online, I, I studied up a little bit and I thought, man, that looks like something I'd, I'd be good at and enjoy, mm -hmm. so. Aaron, do you have a bonus question for us? Oh, no. No? All Twelve right. second bonus question. <clears throat> Twelve second bonus question. What products did you use in your diesel before you started working here? Hot Shot Secret. <laughs> well, Mike, glad to have you on board. <laughs> Glad to nice be here. to get to know you, and I think uh, you know uh, what areas are you serving as an accountant? I have uh, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Texas, um, and New Mexico. Perfect. So anyone out there watching want to become a dealer of ours? Five we have dealer five. packages, big and small, so it doesn't take a whole lot of product to become a dealer. You can, you know, if you got a garage or something like that, be happy to help you out. So call call Mike and get the talk with them and know a bit more about it or anyone else as well. We'll get you set up to the right uh, account executive. Absolutely. So thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yep. <laughs> Levi's doing secret stuff back there. Yeah, yeah <clears throat> all the secret stuff. <laughs> What's that button do? I don't know. I don't either. We're going to check in on all our TV airings coming up this uh, upcoming weekend. Ooh, there's so, a lot of them. Again. There is a lot of them starting tomorrow. So what do we have tomorrow? Tomorrow at 9. Tomorrow I'm going to be late because I'm going to be watching Truck U at 9.30 on Motor Trend and learn all about Sticks and Eliminator or whatever you don't cover today. I'll get like the recap tomorrow. Perfect. And then on Saturday I get to watch All Girls Garage at 11.30 featuring FR3 and Two Guys Garage. At 1.30 on Motor Train, featuring FR3 as well. Very good. But and guess what? You got more. There's got, more. Is it like a triple header on Sunday? Not exactly. Well, but yeah. Yeah, there's good. a breakfast break from 10.30 to 11, so you get watch your, two you guys' get your biscuits garage and gravy 10, in. Eat your biscuits and gravy, then come back. And chocolate at, milk. Can't forget about the chocolate milk to go with your biscuits and gravy. On Sundays? Uh-huh. Is that legal? Oh, yeah. Okay. Fat guy approved. <laughs> and then Car Fix at 11, <laughs> featuring EDT, and All Girls Garage at 11.30, what, featuring Sticks and Eliminator. So a lot of different things you can check out all weekend. So Sticks, FR3, and EDT. So a good part of our, core part yeah. of our products. So you we can probably check. don't even need to talk about this today, though. Eh. We'll see where the questions bring us. <laughs> Let's check in on what's going on out there. Dan says, happy Thursday. Terry Howard, once again, happy Hot Shot Secret Thursday Day. 
Todd Colley's in the house. I know Todd. I haven't seen him for a few days, so. Yeah, it's been a while. Terry says that Gasoline Extreme saved his 89 town car. It had a bad miss for nearly 10 years. And um, just says that, you know, that Gasoline Extreme, it works. So what, what does, well, I know I'm kind of jumping ahead, but what is the big secret there. ingredient with Gasoline Extreme that kind of makes it work? Is there like a single component or is it a synergy of things or? Wow, you're starting to ask tough questions. I, I'm on, I'm uh, on today. We'll say we, two things. The injector cleaner absolutely cleans the injectors. It's a one tank. Uh, EPA exceeding, <laughs> how's that? Um, injector cleaner, so we had to scale back the on-road dosage because it was so concentrated. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a slight small amount of storage and stability in it, just, just in case, and a secret weapon top end lube. So you get benefits from not only the injector cleaning, but also from the lowering of the friction and the piston rings. And, Seems to be pretty sweet so far. Just makes makes all those cars run a lot smoother it after. It does. All except one. <laughs> <laughs> Yours? <laughs> no, mine, mine runs great with it. Uh, 96,421 bottles, and we had one customer that didn't. said uh, I didn't really see any improvement, so. Okay. Huh. Well, we so. I'm sure we took care of them. That's what we do. Yeah. But, so. So, so all but one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to our feature ride of the week. What? Every week. Do, we do that still? Yeah. Every week we uh, post a feature ride to our Facebook page and uh, enter Sundays. When the post goes up, comment, and you'll be picked. This week's winner is... <laughs> You can be picked. You won't be with Well, picked. yeah, it can mean, be. Yeah. I've never been picked, and I've posted. So you have the possibility of winning sure. and being picked. I just had to change that for the lawyer. Yes, thank you. Yeah. We're all about the law here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it can be anything. A car, truck, RV, motorcycle, semi, heavy equipment. We've had them all. As scooters. A, scooters. <laughs> Yeah, we need a scooter, a really nice looking scooter. Segway. Have you seen Kyle's new Segway? <laughs> Apparently it's a Segway scooter. I have not yet seen it, but. Wow. Well, his awesome yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it. Yeah, so he'll be cruising around in that this summer to the events. It was. Kale. Kale, yeah. So, yeah. Congratulations, Kale, on that nice looking ride and livestock trailer. We've been, um, so myself, and the reason why Kyle's not here is we've actually had a big project launch um, early Monday morning at midnight. We've been announcing our... It doesn't our, get much earlier than that. It does doesn't it? get much earlier. <laughs> well, it's I'll, about the earliest you can get, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I went down at about 3 o'clock and was there all night getting things going and trying to not pull my hair out. Hmm. But we officially launched the Steve Summers Overnight Drive, and it's available streaming live on our Facebook and YouTube pages right now, and we'll be expanding platforms. So it's a whole new way for people to engage with Steve that they never had before, before he was on the radio. So now they get to see him in the studio, doing everything he does. We take calls into the studio as well. So we had uh, tons of callers over the last uh, couple of What's the phone nights. number for that? 844-844-3388. Got yes. it. Yeah, I don't sleep. I might as well do something. Yeah. Well, Hi, Steve. Be sure to, yeah, <laughs> Steve. Remember me? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, that's why Kyle's not on the show today. And I'm a little bit sluggish today because I've been down there a couple nights myself and 
uh, working remotely with him as well at, at midnight. So I apologize to all those out there. I'm just uh, trying to fill in and get through the day. Um, but he'll be on tonight, and that is actually the Friday show, technically, and then back again on Monday at, at 12 a.m. So that's, be sure to check it out. You can also check out all the replays as well. So they're available on Facebook and YouTube to watch. Uh, they won't be live, obviously, but on demand for you to but check out. Since you're in marketing, what was the marketing decision to call it 12 a.m. instead of midnight? I don't know. I think that's just what he's always just, called it. Just, uh, just wondered, because then you have to do math. Like 12 a.m., wait, is that yeah. late or early? Because I think I think the, the thought is if you say midnight Monday, do you mean midnight Monday going into Tuesday or Sunday going into Monday? That's the people get confused. Now we're <laughs> yeah. Now I'm just wondering. So that's 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 to be honest, that's where it came from. I had a recall in my head what's going on. Now yeah. I remember. Be sure to sign up for our e-newsletter at hotshotsecret.com slash email. Yeah. And in there, you'll see all our sales, updates, blogs, all the news and information going around right here at Hot Shot Secret. Why we called it 12 a.m. instead of midnight, things like that. It's things it was, like that. If I would have read the email, probably would have known. Got me again. <sighs> I think he throws zingers in, the, in those newsletters just to see if I read them. Easter eggs, that's right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's draw our winner for this week from the giveaway. Again, it's hotshotsecret.com slash giveaway. And um, this week's prize is Gasoline Extreme and Stiction Eliminator. Mm. Not quite those sizes, though, well, but you get the point. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're watching live. Yeah. But if you are watching live, comment below, let us know and we will send you a t-shirt in addition to your order. And if you're not live, we'll contact you and get a hold of you. Today's winner is? Uh, Ludwig Man 12 at dot, some, dot, 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 dot. So if that's you, please comment below, let us know, and we will get you your prize. Or is it Ludwig? Hmm. Hmm. Could be either. Do you ever feel like a news reporter with your page? And now page two. <clears throat> oh, you're saying I should go like this, Levi? <laughs> Stay classy, San Diego. <laughs> yes. So. Or whatever that is. Let's talk really in depth about Gasoline Extreme. We kind of touched on it earlier. Okay. So. In depth. I had a question the other day come in. It was on a, a comment about a, after they bought their thing. They want to so say, we've got great products, use Gasoline Extreme, works well. Why don't you have an everyday gasoline thing, like how you do everyday diesel treatment? Man, you're killing me. Well, why am I killing you? Uh, because. Is that a good answer? Okay. It worked on the Wizard of Oz, because, 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 because. Uh, was, was that the Wizard of Oz? Okay. Yes. yes. So you always have to ask, I don't, I don't know anything. That's an excellent question. The, the reason is most, gasoline is way better than diesel. It's the, more refined. It's a more refined there's product. The, there's easy. Diesel definitely needs something every stinking tank, no matter what. Gasoline's like, meh, okay, so. You, you, don't, you don't hear of people getting bad tanks of gas very, very often. often. From Correct. A fuel, if they're going to a regular fuel station, now if they're storing it maybe on their, at their house or something, it might right. you know they might draw moisture, some of those things. But, right. So for the but for the most, most part, an end part, user. Yeah, but the injectors do get gummed up, and so we did it just a one tank injector cleaner. Uh, we do have. Whoa. -oh. They want their they want their stuff set now. <laughs> yeah, they want. Their, <laughs> you're right. That was my office phone. <laughs> Uh, where, were we? where were we? Yeah, 
Yeah, so we, an injector cleaner, clean the injectors, definitely an issue with vehicles and um, remnants of gasoline. We do have the RV gas treatment that would be considered an everyday gasoline treatment if one were so inclined. And what does that do different than the gasoline extreme? So it has a keep clean level of injector cleaner, the water dispersant, storage and stability, rust and corrosion. So basically it's taking care of all those things that you might say from something. Boy, you're really popular. I am. Uh, so from a vehicle that sits more often than, than runs. So Correct. So that's the so reason for you might want to use it. So it's not necessarily an everyday treatment. Right. It's a, every once in a while. I will say I have a friend I know who he was using another brand's ethanol treatment. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about it and we said, well, the RV also has ethanol. Right. He has one of those V10 Triton Ford trucks and he says it runs like junk if you don't put an additive in it. He tried ours and said it ran just as good or better than the other guys. Ours, he puts a little bit in, whole oh. bottle, I mean, he was dumping, you know, eight dollars down the tank every time he filled up his truck. You know, he put eighty dollars of gasoline inside the truck and another eight dollars of additive on top of it. He loves our additive, the RV, so that he can, you know, he's putting, you know, a dollar or something and you know worth of product in to his tank of fuel. So big cost savings. Plus, he knows he's getting a better, uh, he gets better mileage too. He said he actually increased mileage on top of using a different uh, additive before even. Imagine. So, so if There's you have a, <laughs> so if you have a truck that, or a vehicle that doesn't run well with the ethanol and our gas, that's try out the RV. It might be a, a good uh, solution for you as well. Absolutely. Yeah, that Triton V10. It, whew. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's in yours, Levi? Oh. <laughs> I'm at your Ford truck. So, so we know that gasoline's more refined. We Check. only need the, so how often do we run this? Well, the label says every 10,000 miles. Mm-hmm. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> well, well, yes, but you so, know. It's so on page but two. Is it, <laughs> so why 10,000 miles? I, uh, that's a, that's a, I know that's a tough question. Yeah, like we even saw gains the newish vehicles, like less than 60,000, we broke it. We did a bunch of testing and separated out into vehicle type, the gasoline they used, the number of miles on the vehicle, and even the vehicles with less than 60,000 miles got a, an increase in performance and what's that other one? Fuel mileage, that's it. Fuel. So there's defin definitely some gains to be had right off the bat, mm -hmm. even. And that's probably mainly so, due to the upper cylinder lube in it, or just kind of keeping things moving better. Somewhat. Somewhat. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. That's yeah. Definitely. That's the that's so the, the uh, non turbolicist version. The secret of it. is the second tank. You still see results, so it's it's a little bit tougher to see an improvement with during the cleaning process. So you add it in, you don't see results on that tank. You're like, yeah, it's junk. But then the next one, you see huge improvements in fuel mileage. So. That's when you really need to check it. And what if I do want to run like this every tank? I know it's a little expensive to do that, but if I was so inclined, yeah. any issues with doing that? Not one. Not one, so not going to no. mess and with some any sensors? Folk, or... We actually have a few folks that say that it pays for itself that they do it every tank. Yeah. And the increase in fuel mileage pays for the product. What if I was going to say, uh, I'm going to run the injector cleaner real hard and you know, once and then every tank I want to pull a splash and any, would you see any benefit with that or probably, probably not the way it's? No, if you were to do it, I would, the on-road for dosage would be the keep clean level. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, that's good to know for everyone so to kind touch of. touch more than splash, but. Yeah, touch more than splash, but yeah. No, I, I think I want, well, my, my thought behind that was I wanted everyone to understand like how it actually works that there is a, following the dosage pretty closely is actually ideal because you guys know how much injector cleaner it needs to go through the tank mm -hmm. and you have to do a full tank worth of fuel to really see the benefits that of it happening. Correct. Man, you know all this stuff. Well, I've been here for a little <laughs> bit. What areas do you serve? 
New Mexico, <laughs> Texas. I served the world. The whole web. Thing. Wow. <laughs> the universe, yes. World Wide Web. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the WWW area. <laughs> so we got our injectors clean. What does that do? Like, I know we get better fuel mileage, but why do, why do we get better fuel mileage? Is it just a, it's a more cleaner burn? Is that the, what happens when we clean our injectors? It, it's a better spray pattern. Okay. So when the injectors are gummed up, they sometimes can stick and you have a little bit of seepage into the combustion chamber. Don't like seepage. No. And it cleans it out. So they, when they're shut, they are shut. And it also has a better spray pattern. So if you have something in the way, it, they form bigger droplets and they don't atomize as well. And there we go. Poor combustion efficiency. Okay. So we have a uh, small engine cleanup package available. And what we do is actually add stiction limiter with gasoline extreme. So stiction limiter works both gas and diesel engines. Oil side. Oil side, <laughs> yes. You don't mix these two together. Yeah, don't mix them in the tank or anything. Yeah, oil side. I've done it, but it's not recommended. <laughs> it was for science. Like, what would happen if we did this? Yeah. Well, I know you guys do all that kind of testing to Just know like fun. what happens like when a customer does it. I'm on my 49th vehicle here since <laughs> I've started. <laughs> so I'm lying. It's 48. <laughs> so what benefits will we see with stiction eliminator and a gasoline engine? I, you know, we don't we won't be cleaning out the injectors because it's not a Huey style injector. Correct. This kind of goes the same route as even if I have a diesel truck that's not a Huey style. Kind of going to get some of those same benefits. So what are right. some of those benefits? Anything the oil touches, it cleans. If you have a turbo, it cleans out the turbo bearings. Faster spool time. More boost quicker. Because the oil cooks, basically, in the turbo it's bearings exactly after, it, it after yeah. you shut down, basically. If you don't let the oil... Go through enough to clean to even, cool down. Even, even if you do, it still cooks up. Yeah. Right, it's going to cook up. Yeah. And then around the piston rings are really high area for heat and coking, so it cleans that out. So if they're stuck on the piston, not sealing against the cylinder wall, then you have blow by and poor fuel economy. Mm -hmm. and it removes all that. So you're saying if I see my engine using a lot of oil could help with that it's not potentially it's yeah. not it's not like a stop fix leak like that but it's exactly i mean if there's a actual mechanical issue then no it will not so worn valve guides valve seals or a broken ring or if the cylinders are worn out so the ring gap is huge you probably won't see a benefit but it's a good start it's a good way to find out Right, so it's not a mechanic in a bottle. Never was designed right. to be. But now we if it's something that we, we can fit fix them in with, with the lubricant, we yeah, tried. We tried it. But if it's something we can fix with some with proper lubricants, cleaning things, right. it also kind of rejuvenates the, the rings and seals a little bit too with the esters that in it. Correct. Uh, the, the, okay. Yeah. Like, Did I put words in your mouth or not? You can tell me. I'm, You're not going to no, offend me. I'm not offended. Okay. But we'll discuss this after the no show. <laughs> <laughs> Parking lot, three o'clock. Um, <laughs> right now. Just kidding. It does clean. I don't know. Mine do, mine's broke, so. Mine is too. So sorry if you're out there trying to comment. We're just, mine stopped like 10 minutes ago with comments. That's right. Your wife's a showstopper. She is. <laughs> So in addition to gasoline extreme extinction eliminator for gas vehicles, we got a couple other products. FR3, which mm -hmm. we'd use in rotation with stiction eliminator. Correct. So stiction eliminator for the first dosage, and then what would do there? FR3, is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. For the next two oil Oh changes. yeah, two, yeah. three. Yeah, yeah. and then back to stiction eliminator right. again to kind of make sure we get a clean out. So there, they both read. They both reduce friction, reduce wear, mm -hmm. increase fuel mileage. So whichever one you choose for the oil, you're all set. Right. 
But we do like seeing you run stiction laminator, laminator first, especially in a engine's got a couple miles on it. Yeah, I usually, yeah, at least three. <laughs> <laughs> no, Actually, I, we do say at least 10,000 miles yeah, before least, running uh, oil least, additive. Yeah, make sure the engine's broken. Mm -hmm. sure. And then if they have an automatic transmission, we can use shift restore, which we used to be called transmission stiction eliminator. So what does that product do to an automatic transmission? It clean, the easiest way is it cleans the valve body so your solenoids don't get stuck and the little valves don't get stuck. It also somewhat cleans the, the clutches, like very lightly, so you have a little better clutch engagement. And it's not like a detergent. It actually uses... Uh, Positive and negative ions, basically, yeah, it's, right? It's esters. Esters, okay. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. It's like Kyle's like, it's esters, like Kyle. <laughs> Shush. But he gave it away. So, Mystery box. Yeah. <laughs> Mystery box. The, the not, the, I can't even say hot shot, not so secret. Whew. So once the, it <laughs> cleans, I know, I'm just I'm like, whoa. Like, whoa. So once it cleans uh, everything off on uh, transmission, valve body, what happens to it? Like, does it sit, go through the filter? Is it gonna kind of dissolve back it, into the yeah, oil? Yeah, it dissolves back into the oil. Okay. So it will go through the filter because it's small enough and be recirculated, but it's tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny. Yeah. So if you have having a problem with the transmission, so it's also, it's really just not if you're having a problem, it's also preventive maintenance as well. Exactly. So it's a so two you, in one. So you don't even have those issues. Right. So not only is it a shift restore, it's a, I think the show's on the other side of the camera I today. Think it is there's, today. there's some good stuff going on here. <laughs> yeah. So this is their only time they're allowed to have fun. It so is. Yeah. Yeah. It. yeah. It's their one time a week to shine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can get my comments to reset quick. Huh. My, that my never name. usually seems to work. Oh, Kyle's not Kyle's not here. Do I? <laughs> yeah. I guess. I guess. We should do something exciting like that. We should do a whole show with the cameras turned around. See how it's done from the other yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are going to look at upgrading some of our equipment, adding some new features so maybe when we get our new setup for the new studio for the new studio yeah uh, you guys used that last week didn't you yes mm -hmm. <laughs> and then this week they're putting and then this week they're putting in your office so you know yeah, yeah. that's all right well i think we'll wrap up the show for today and have you guys tune in next week, so be sure to like and share this video with your friends. Let us know what's going on. If you got any questions, comment. We'll uh, take care of those at a later date. We'll check out the YouTube comments as well. Hope you guys all have a great weekend, and tune in tonight at 12 a.m. for the Steve Summers Overnight Drive, and then back again on Monday. And we'll be back here next Thursday. So... So then, see you guys later. Have a fantastic weekend. No, no. There's a Facebook page, but not an Instagram page. Is there an? Did someone make an Instagram page without me knowing it? <laughs>